Howdy guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video I'm going to show you how to make some ripples, waves and splashes. Right guys, happy Christmas! <laughs> Take 39, right, this video is all about waves, um, splashes, ripples, anything to do with water effects. Now it's going to be with a product that I make myself. I will show you how to make this product in the next video. I did plan to bring it out before this video, but I run out of the product and I had to get this to the client. So that's why I've done it in this order so I do really apologize about that but at least this will tickle your fancy you'll get to see how it works what you can do with it um, but then next week I'll go into proper detail I can make all different things with it I mean I'm not just talking waves splashes and ripples I'm talking you can mix it a certain way to get really nice gore effects it, like in action blood shots like where you've been shot and you get like a blood splatter or you could do gore effects with it icicles just all sorts of different things. It's amazing, you can paint it, it's already clear, so you can, you can even build rip curl waves with this, this stuff in one sitting. This is not like all these gloss medium gels or anything, it's something that's very simple to make, it's very cheap and it's very easy. I'm so happy I've discovered this. I've had to sit and study polymers and work out how to mix it and do all sorts to get to this. All right, guys, so I'm going to share this video with you, and then next week we'll go, we'll show you how to make all the different types, what you can, what you can't do with it, and I'll discuss my water effect that's coming out that's very similar to it. Um, it'll be roughly the same price and everything else, but it's far better than one that I'm going to show you how to make. But the one that you can make at home is far better than I know than anything that's on the market already. So let's get to the video. I hope you like it, guys, and I'll see you in the new year. Love, love, love. Right guys, so this mix of uh, my water effect has had the same turquoise ink added uh, that I added to the resin. Um, I just put a couple of drops in just to give it a bit of a tint. Now all you're doing here, as you can see, is I'm pouring it over. Um, well, I was spreading it out with the, um, the spatula, but what you can do is just pour this on. It self-levels very well, um, so you can actually just pour it on. I was being quite sparse with it and been spreading it out and been quite careful because I didn't want to lose too much detail underneath um, but it was unnecessary you can just literally pour this on and spread it out like butter on toast <laughs> you know what I mean um, it'll, it'll lay pretty flat but while it's laying it never goes perfectly flat um, where it's slightly thicker in areas it gives it sort of a really soft ripple okay um, so if you're wanting like a very delicate river I mean you can see how that's taking now it's it's got like a very soft subtle ripple to put any harder ripples in just tap it and that will lift it up off the surface now once you've covered all the area that you want to be working in after about a minute or two um, it'll start to firm up now as it firms up as you can see all I'm doing is tapping it with that tongue depressor and you're getting nice little peaks um, now do that to a point where you're happy okay you can really move it, you can dig into it, you can scrape it around, you can do what you want, okay? It will stay clear, you won't really mess it up. Um, but just keep tapping it, keep moving it around till you're happy with the ripple. Now the good thing about working on top of resin is when you do this, it casts a shadow under the, um, under the resin. So like in real life, you get um, shadows from above. Um, so you can really see what it's gonna look like before it dries. Now, if you want to soften it, because like with this, I've made it slightly too hard. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting it in the, in the areas where it's gone a bit too peaky, should I say. I'm putting more of it in. Because um, I want to like, have like a, some areas where it's like a, a big bellow of a, like a ripple rather than loads of tiny little ripples. I just want some larger areas of water. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit more in. I'm tapping it. Um, and just trying to break up the water surface so you get a nice flow and a nice ripple across the entire board Once this is in place, don't worry if you make it too sharp and pointy. We'll deal with that in a second Now 
Now, it's quite hard to see on camera at this point, but there's some really sharp points. Now what I'm doing is I'm spraying this with isopropanol. Now you need to use 99.9% .9 isopropanol. Uh, and what that does is it just takes the edge off and it settles down. If you was to use water or anything water based in this, it will go pure white. So avoid water, uh, but I'll go into that next week. It will all drop down and settle down and have a really nice subtle soft edge when you spray it with isopropanol. It'll go down over the course of a minute or two. All I'm doing here is where I want some of the peaks, I'm just going in and tapping the peaks back in. Once you've done that, let that dry for a couple of hours, and I mean literally an hour and a half, two hours till it's like tacky dry, and then we can get onto the waves. Right, so once you've got that down, that's what it'll look like. So that's how simple just getting your nice modulated sea looks. I did the river at the same time just because it's the same process, guys. There's not much gone on different apart from I've put the ripples closer together. Um, so I've just spent a bit more time just tapping it closer rather than leaving it broader, that's all. Um, so I just went across the whole river doing the same thing. So as you can see, it worked brilliantly. Um, I went up onto the side of the uh, sand there and all the rough water in now when we're going to do um, the water pulling back on the beach all I'm doing is I'm putting a really thin the same ripple uh, I'm at the same ripple mixture that I put down first but this is clear this has got no colorant in it um, and what I'm doing is I'm putting it on the beach um, to simulate the water that's sort of pulling back with the tide um, so I put it on let it run down and touch uh, the rippled water okay uh, once that's sort of on there and you've left it for a while, you will be ready to start putting your waves down. So just make sure there's no sand showing through uh, and just put it across all the area where you want that and just leave it for a couple of minutes and we'll start manipulating the waves. Right, now after a couple of minutes of getting that down, what you need to do is just start pulling it. Um, it will start to film firm up so what you're doing is you're putting it into tiny piles uh, and then you keep manipulating it and the more you play with it the more the alcohol evaporates um, meaning that it starts to firm up more and more and more um, once you're getting it to a point and you get the piles to where you want them you just need to keep stab like stippling it and pulling at it to create the curl and the splash in the wave and just keep playing with it there's no there's no way of um, it just it just works at a certain point okay guys so just keep coming back to it and as soon as you can see it do that uh, when you touch it it pulls and it causes them little like pulls pull marks that's what you're wanting it to do so just keep doing that so you get a lovely little wave if you get it sticking vertical just push it down it holds its shape it remembers where it's supposed to be uh, and when that dries it dries really firm uh, but just enough flex um, that it's not going to break off. Now, if you want to put any little splashing water, like droplets and things, and like make the wave look a bit more like, active and bellowing at the end, just tap it and keep tapping away and pull away from yourself um, to get them little edges to make it quite pointy uh, to simulate nice little water droplets flying off the edge of the wave. Um, and that's it, that's simple little tame waves. Now for splash marks, splashes are a bit different, um, I'm using uh, a slightly tinted um, effect for this as well, uh, but this is really thick. Um, you can make it thicker for bigger ones, but obviously it's only a tame river uh, and tame, tame sea, so I'm not going over the top. But as you can see, this is a lot thicker than I've been using before. Again, I'll go into that next week. Um, but what you do is you put this down in thick in areas where you need it. Um, it doesn't matter if you put too much down because you'll just make it a bigger wave, okay, a bigger splash. Now what you need to do is you need to just pull this over the area where you want the water to be in contact with it. So get it down and then pull it over the area where you need it in contact. Give it about 5, maybe 10 minutes to just grab the area and then what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate it and pull it into shape um, to get the big splashing effects that we need. So I'll zoom in and so you can have a good look at it. 
Now, as you can see, as that's firming up, it's giving you the time to pull it about. Now, if you're just using the stick without any of the, the, the water effect on there, it doesn't work as good. It sticks to itself far better than it sticks to anything else. Um, so what you've got to do is just keep pressing it and keep pulling it and making sure that you've got a little bit on your stick so as you pull it away from itself, it creates them forks and splashes. And like in this area where we've got plenty down, as you can see, as you start pulling that, you'll get some really nice disturbed effects. Now, where you play with it more and where you pull with it more, um, it go. It is still transparent, but it's not as transparent as where you've not touched it as much. So that gives you a good indication as well where when you start adding the white water effects, where you roughly want to be putting them, but it's still transparent enough that when you... So if you want to leave a bit, you get a nice transition from... Uh, the colour of the water to the um, the start of the whiting of the water to the white water. Um, so again, another. It's, I don't think it's not deliberate, but it just lends itself perfectly for it. And then when we come on to painting it, um, this stuff takes paint amazingly well. Um, so just get some white paint on a brush and stipple it on. I'm not dry brushing. I'm just stippling it on. I don't like it when I see water effects that are just caked in white paint. Um, again with this board I've learned less is far better okay less is more so all I'm doing is I literally just stipple the edge of the wave um, and not much more than that because the what the water effect itself has a natural um, sort of cloudiness where you've pulled it about more um, so that really lends itself to the white water effect already and all you're doing is you're adding the really rough white water because this is quite small scale, so imagine if you did that on a large scale, like doing a massive rip curl wave, you'd obviously be pulling that over more, which means it'd, you'd be roughing it up more, you'd be getting more oxygen into it, which would turn it more cloudier, so you wouldn't have to do as much white water, so there's more transparent areas on this that you don't have to paint, and this is what I like about it, it gives you a proper element of realism, um, which you don't get from things that are out on the market and this is something you can go into any shop and buy so i can't wait to tell you where it is um but just look at it i'll, I'll leave you with the rest of this video guys uh, and i'll catch you in a bit right guys and this is it finished um I'm, I'm not going to do any more than this to this board uh, because I want it as quite a, a mellow bay. It is the Mediterranean, they don't have much of a tide there, um, so I've done it quite subtle uh, and that's what I was going for. Plus subtle is easier, like a nice steady bay is a lot easier than doing really rough water. So I've taught myself how to do that. I've learned a lot doing this, which I'll show you a better technique when I show you how to make it. Uh, and everything else but for a first attempt with it um, the splash effects have come out great and everything it's just so simple to use um, and I'm sure you've, you've seen that in this video and I'm sure when you make it yourself you'll realize how awesome it is all right guys it's I'll go into more details of the pros and cons and I don't think there's many cons <laughs> apart from you're gonna make it yourself but anyway guys I'll see you again soon So guys, literally tell me what you think below. Um, I'm very excited about this. Um, I can't wait to get this video out next week. I'm going to do some awesome stuff with it. I'm going to show you how to do massive rip curl waves. I don't know whether you've uh, on my group, as in the Luke's APS Hangouts and Discussions, about 12 months ago I did a big Kraken model and I'm going to show you how to do waves. Now, I started looking in how to do waves and I didn't like any ways that anybody did it because it was going to take months. So I put it on a shelf and I thought, I will, over that 12 months I've been trying to find something that will do waves the way I want to do. And now I have, I'm going to show you how to do everything on that. So from massive rip curling waves, huge splash effects, gore effects, blood splatters, and it's all to do with how you mix this next product. So stay tuned for next week guys. I know it sounds, feels like I'm sort of building it up and layering it up and just making it go on for far too long. But I run out and I apologise. <laughs> it was supposed to be today, but it'll have to be next week. Or 
new year. All right, guys, but it'll be a good way to start off the new year. I'm going to come back with some awesome, cheap, and easy tutorials, um, as in good cheap alternatives getting back to old looks APS I've done 12 months of heavy advertising now guys and I do apologize but I've had to get my product off the ground um, I've got my products off the ground now a few things are changing which I'll tell you about in the new year I'm going full-time with geek gaming and this um, which again I'll discuss in the new year um, a lot's happened and a lot's changing but I'd like to thank you all have a very good Christmas and a happy new year and just thank you for all your support. I'm going to get heavily drunk and I'm going to have a good week off over Christmas. And I'll see you in the new year for some great videos, guys. If you like what I do, do check out the shop. And that's where the advertising's stopping. Catch you in a bit. Love, love, love.